it's going down. I'm yelling timber, you better move, you better dance. He's got some girth to him. That's a good sized snake there. The timber rattlesnake is a species of rattlesnake native to the eastern half of the United States. Now this rattlesnake is actually the third largest species of rattlesnake that we have here in the US behind the eastern and western diamondback rattlesnake, respectively. These snakes inhabit a variety of ecosystems across the United States, so we're hoping today to showcase some of these absolutely beautiful animals. Let's see if we can find the timber rattlesnake. Okay, everybody, and welcome back to Jack's World of Wildlife. Now, today, we are searching for a species that has eluded me for many, many years. Today we are looking for one of the most beautiful rattlesnakes in North America, and I think probably my favorite species, the timber rattlesnake, or Crotalus horridus. Now these spectacular snakes can get quite large and have quite a potent bite. So we're hoping to showcase some of their unique behavior and some of their beautiful appearances for you today. So we are up in Oklahoma, southern Oklahoma, and I'm hoping that the, I don't know, fifth time we've come out here, hopefully we can get a timber rattlesnake and maybe we get to see some other stuff too. So without further ado, let's see if we can catch any of these beautiful snakes on the move or basking in this beautiful morning sun. Let's go. We're just poking around these rocks, Yuri. Eh? You know, don't you know? Right around here is where all the snakes would be coming out. And uh, they'll be kind of just sitting there, hopefully. Maybe they'll be uh, kind of slithering, but they'll uh, it'll be one of the two, slithering or sitting. It's usually, usually what snakes are up to. So we're just gonna be, you know, poking around here. And, uh, you know, we're just, we're hoping, you know, this is a good day and uh, maybe we'll be able to to uh, get some stuff here for you guys. Uh, so, you know, wish us luck. Uh, we're gonna be poking around. You can see all those, you know, nice sunny boulders, rocks there, you know, rocks. You know, I'll tell you a rock fact is, uh, you know, when they're in the sun, they get kind of warm. And a little snake fact for you, you know, snakes, uh, they like to sit on warm stuff. So we're just gonna, we're gonna hope that uh, all this warm stuff's gonna attract a few snake booties and uh, maybe we can, uh, maybe we can find some, you know what I'm saying? So uh, we're just gonna poke around here. Uh, does that sound like a plan? Okay, great. Uh, let's, uh, let's just see, uh, see what we can uh, poke, uh, run, you know, uh, we'll see what we can, uh, uh, what we can um, maybe uh, see, uh, what if we can, um, you know, uh, see if we can, uh, uh, you know, rustle something up. That's not what I was expecting, but it is what I'm looking for. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my goodness! Take a look right here. Oh, an amazing, amazing baby timber rattlesnake. Oh, oh my goodness, look at him! It was a nice, cool morning. So he's just, oh, hear that little rattle. Do you hear that little tinkly rattle? Oh my gosh, it's so cute. It was a nice, cool morning. The sun's starting to poke out. So that's what we were looking for. We were looking for these timber rattlesnakes coming out onto these nice rocks to get some heat, to get some nice, juicy warmth. 
so that they can digest their meals, so that they can have energy for the day, so that they can lead happy and healthy rattlesnake lives. Oh my gosh, we've been to this spot multiple times with no luck for timbers. We found some shed, but uh, this is actually my first timber rattlesnake. So I am stoked and I'm actually really happy that it's a baby. We've been, we were looking for some larger individuals, but I just think the baby's the cherry on top. Look right here, underneath that coil, see how he's lifted up. It's got that tiny little rattle, tiny little rattle going. Oh my goodness. Well, I'm gonna try and get some uh, footage on my video camera before he moves out of this beautiful pose that he's naturally found himself in. And then I will be right back to teach you about these spectacular venomous snakes. Now, these are exceptional rattlesnakes. So not only are these rattlesnakes, of course, cousins to the Western and Eastern diamondback rattlesnakes, and of course, all other rattlesnakes in the genus Crotalus, these rattlesnakes are some of the most wide range, if not the most wide ranging rattlesnake species in the world. You can find these beautiful snakes in Texas and they stretch all the way up into the northern parts of North America, up into the eastern seaboard, Pennsylvania, New York even. So these absolutely spectacular snakes have quite an extensive range throughout the American wilderness. And they do so well because they are exceptional at surviving in these North American forests. They love rocky outcroppings and mixed forests with lots of pine, with oak, and all sorts of different mixed trees. And they use these beautiful rocky areas to hibernate. So they have these den sites that they will actually return to every year uh, to stay dormant for the winter. Now these snakes, specifically within the world of rattlesnakes, are particularly nasty because these animals possess both hemotoxic and neurotoxic properties in their venom, meaning that not only will this dissolve your flesh and your blood and your tissue if it bites you, but it can also start to attack your nervous system as well, causing paralysis in some of your very important body systems. So it's not a great idea to be bitten by this animal, but as you can see, this animal's not going out of its way to even strike at us. It is not stru struck once in defense of its life. And in fact, that is the purpose of this rattle. A lot of people think venomous snakes are out to get them or out to bite them or out to attack them. That's not the case. This animal's letting me know that he's dangerous. That if he needed to, he could defend himself with lethal force. But that's not what he wants to do. What I see in front of me is a nervous, a stressed animal that's cautious about the threat of a giant predator like myself. This impending, this looming predator. So he's rattling that little rattle, that little tiny button. He's no bigger than a yearling probably. He's got just a little bit of a rattle going on, but he's letting me know, listen, I don't want to fight you. I don't want to mess with you, but if I have to, even at this small size, I could be a life-threatening bite. And I appreciate that. These animals, they stand their ground, but they're not aggressive. They're defensive. Just like in the Cottonmouth video, that's the point I want to illustrate. That's what I want to show you all, is that these snakes, despite popular opinion, despite society's expectations of them, these are simply animals. And I want to emphasize that word animal, same as anything else, same as the fox, same as these crows above us. These are animals just trying to go about their lives in the best capacity that they can. So it's so amazing to get to see this beautiful display of this animal standing its ground with the power that it has and still not coming after me, not trying to attack me, not trying to bite me. Because that is the amazing illustration of venomous snakes. A purely defensive mode of protection. Letting an attacker know, letting, an, letting a predator know, listen, you don't wanna mess with me, I'll mess up your day, I'll ruin your day, I might even ruin your life, but I'm gonna let you know, and I'm gonna rattle, and I'm gonna hold my ground until you back off, and then I'm gonna slither right away. 
These are such amazing snakes. I am so excited to have finally found one. And this is a perfect day for them, obviously, with this little baby out. It was simply curled right up here, getting some nice energy, some nice thermal energy from the sun. It's a beautiful, beautiful November day. And we might just be able to find some more. So we're gonna get some more shots of this beautiful, beautiful snake. And we're gonna leave him be. We're gonna see what else we can find on this amazing, beautiful, sunny day. Oh, so great. Ah, oh, that's so awesome. You gonna kiss him on the head? Yeah, we All right. So it's gonna be like a, like a, the King Cobra shows, you know, where they're like, mm. oh, oh, easy, it's okay. He's like, I, I don't want no kiss. I don't want no kiss, guy. It's okay, buddy. It's all right. We're gonna get a few more shots of you. And then we're gonna put this rock back. So if you wanted to get under it, you could. We had to move this rock because he was like unsure if he wanted to participate. We, I, the reason I didn't uh, want to handle him too much is if you can't actually probably see very well. I think he has a huge uh, Texas spiny lizard in his stomach. There's this huge bulge. Oh, sorry. From here to about here that I assume is a large lizard prey item. So we didn't want to mess with them too much because if snakes are too stressed, they'll actually regurgitate that meal uh, so that they can flee the predator. Uh, but we don't want to do that. We don't want to take away the meal from this little guy. So we're going to just let him sit there. He's, he's content in warning us. And then we're going to flip this rock back over and uh, we're going to get on our way, see if we can find anything else today. So thank you, little buddy. Hold tight one moment. We'll get some shots of you and we'll let you be. After we got the footage we needed, we let this beautiful baby timber rattlesnake slink right back under the rock we found it next to. What a beautiful snake. Let's see what else we can find. After our success in finding a small or juvenile, we now set our sights on finding something bigger. We turned our eyes onto some of these rock cuts and possible den sites to see if we could find some larger reptiles taking advantage of the beautiful sun poking through the clouds. Let's see if we can find a bigger one. So, look what was just spotted again. Look at this. Oh. oh, easy, buddy. On the move. It's okay. If only we had our snake hook. <laughs> Watch out, he's chasing you. Goodness, that is a timber rattlesnake. Easy, it's okay, sweet buddy. Look at that stunning animal. Oh, yay, it's going down. I'm yelling timber, you better move, you better dance. We'll make a video, you will remember. You gotta love these awesome snakes. Dude, you're awesome, man. You're cool, bro. You're sick. Oh, yes. Two timber day, baby. And it's only getting started. Oh, what an amazing snake. This one's a little lean, a little skinny. But that, that's got, he's got some years on him for show. Sure. Look at that. Let's bring him over here so I don't have to hang too much of his weight here. Look at that snake. Hey, buddy. Look at that. See, once again, very calm. He's trying to get away. Now he doesn't feel like he's really in danger. We haven't taken a bite out of him. So he's just kind of, kind of calming down, but once again, this is not a snake you want to get bitten by. Not at all. Let's take a look here. Oh, absolutely fantastic. Absolutely wonderful. Dude. Dude. 
Chill, man. Chill, bro. Look at that. Oh, this is an impressive snake. This one was just out on the move. Gage and I were over there looking for timbers. We hear Drew yell, timber. Show up. Look at this. Wow. He's got some girth to him. That's a good sized snake there. Hey, pal. Oh, look at that. You are stunning. You are stellar. Look at this rattle. Much more impressive rattle. <laughs> As you can see, look at this. Not a snake wanting to get at you. This one's not even really being defensive. He's just trying to get away. Absolutely spectacular snake. Spectacular. Well, I think we're just going to let this one kind of get on to doing what he's doing. We might get some pictures of him. Um, I think we got a ton of shots of that beautiful little one. This one's a little scrawny. No offense. He's not quite as photogenic and I don't want to stress him out too much. So we're going to keep looking because it seems like this is a timber-tastic day. So absolutely amazing. Yet another beautiful illustration of how these snakes are not wanting to harm you, are not wanting to eat you, not wanting to bite you. I mean, my foot is right on this guy. Obviously not stepping on him, but just moving right next to him, and he's just trying to get away. Oh, that's awesome. So many timbers, man. That's great, bro. Oh, sick. Look at that. Not even a rattle. Just a nice, calm, sweet, precious snake that would no sooner bite you than you could give it a nice, wet, sloppy kiss on the mouth. Just kidding. Don't do that. Kids, if you're watching, even though my content's marked not for kids, uh, adults who feel like I'm trying to convince people to get bitten by snakes, uh, don't do this at home. So there's your, there's your disclaimer. I'll put one in the beginning of the video too, since everybody thinks everybody's trying to copy me. But look at that beautiful snake. Hi, cutie. Oh, fantastic. All right, so we had an amazing timber day. We found multiple of these beautiful and spectacular rattlesnakes. And I'm hoping, I'll have to look at the footage later, but I'm hoping and I believe in my heart of hearts that we got some really cool and usable footage. So thank you all so much for tuning in to this episode. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I have. This has been a wild ride. My first timber rattlesnakes were here today and I was able to share that with you guys. So it's really special, really cool. So once again, remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you don't miss any future posts or videos. Of course, buy the new merchandise. Join our channel memberships for exclusive behind the scenes content and also to help support me because these trips are quite expensive and take a lot of my time. But as always, thank you so much for tuning in and be sure to tune in next time to the next episode of Jack's World of Wildlife so I can see you again. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Thank you.